Greetings, electronic people of the internet. Today I am going to build this uh, subwoofer box. What I've done here is I took a 2x4, two 2x4 four, um, two foot, foot sheet of half inch MDF, cut it in half to 12 inches. This is our uh, cut list right here, and I'll, don't worry, I'll post this. So we need two 9.5 by 12, two 5 by 12, and two 5 by 8.5. Side of this 12 inch piece, we should be able to get these four sides right here, and then uh, I probably have to cut the other one, rip it again. So that's your list. I'm not going to show cutting all this, so I mean, I think you've seen people cut wood, but once I get it all cut, then I'll show you all the pieces. So that's, that's how it looks. I would prefer more like a cubish. Uh, shaped box but as I was rambling on and talking before that's why I kind of screwed up wasn't paying attention to what I was doing that uh, the reason you can't have a cube shaped box is the port has to be nine inches long what we need it for. Driver's got to go on one side, amp will probably go on the back, and your port's got to go on one of these sides. I just don't really care for this shape. If the amp could fit here, but I don't think it will. It's about that size. So anyway, that's it. Test. So now I need to cut a hole in it for the driver and the port and the amplifier so got to break out some new tools okay i don't have a whole lot of battery left on this but i've got the box all together and this is my uh dremel tool i bought years ago and it converts to a router it's got this plunge router and then also a circle cutting bit because it's not real convenient to learn figure out it doesn't have like a scale on it, so I gotta, you know, you gotta use calipers and stuff, and I gotta drill this hole out a little bit bigger for that pin to sit in. That should do it. Okay, it wasn't perfect. This thing leaves something to be desired. You can see it didn't really cut a cut more of like an eccentric path. I probably should order the router kit for this to use this as the cutting. I just don't use it that much. But anyways, you can see it fits. It's not perfect. It slides around the touch, but it'll seal around there. i got to get some of that tape. I thought I had some, but I don't. So... Uh, next thing I got to cut is a hole for the amplifier and back. Okay, had a bit of a bit of an epiphany here. I didn't wasn't happy with the cut I did. So what I did is I had the scrap piece that I, I cut before, so I just doubled up the baffle. So the baffle is now an inch thick, and I recut the hole and did a lot better job because I noticed that thing kind of tends to walk if you don't hold it. This thing right here, if you don't hold it, it can bend, see? So you have to hold it really still. So I'm much happier with the, with the hole. That's what she said. And there's the core. 
So I'm going to vacuum it out and uh, cut the hole for the amplifier next. Okay, so you now we got to do the amplifier cutout. This is the amplifier. This is the same as the one they sell on Parts Express. It's, uh, I can't remember, the Lepi, Le Lepi or whatever. I looked at it, it was exactly the same. I got this on Amazon for $34. Four and a sixteenth. Or if you want to do it, it's about four, a little over four. And then width, 3.7. So I'll just go off of that. So what I'm going to use, I don't have a an electric jigsaw. PU. It smells like skunk. I'm going to use a um, step bit to drill some corner holes. I have an air jigsaw. Okay, got a smaller. Stepper bit. Hope that's going all the way through. This side's not doubled. There we go. I'll just get my little saw and connect those. Okay, this is my little saw here. I'm just gonna cut this around and uh, the compressor is gonna kick on so it's gonna be really loud so I'm not gonna record this part. I'll just show you the uh, the effect here when I'm done. Okay, as you can see, it's not exactly pretty. That thing is, this thing is not the most precise way. You know, I could have made a template and all that stuff, but whatever. This is not a woodworking channel. So, as you can see, I got it in there. It's square. It's not, you know, very pretty. It's pretty good, but it's going to be hidden. So it fits real tight in there. So that's it. For that, now we got to cut the hole for the port and hopefully avoid the speaker so it's going to go up high take this out of here so the driver is going to be in here and the port's going to go back here somewhere probably on this side to avoid the the driver so uh it'll be a short intermission uh this would be a good time to go get some snacks or a drink and uh chill out so I'll be right back. So I'm trying to figure out here, this must be the, well you can use whatever you want. The uh, plus a Tron and the negative of the speaker wire. So this is really tiny. God, how do you see that? You have a certain age, look how tiny that is. I think that's the plus a -tude. You won't even go in there. Sorry, doing it off camera. You gotta see everything. So there you have it. That is in there. And I didn't have any black screws, so I'm gonna use white screws for now. And then I will either order or find some black screws. Just in the name of getting this done for now, these will suffice. I'll speed this part up. It just blends seamlessly into the rest of it. It'll be so cinematic. This is kind of a neat little amplifier. It's a 2.1 or a 0.1. So it'll power two, um, two little satellite speakers, which is kind of cool. So if you've got some passive speakers sitting around, or if you want to build a set of passive speakers, 
Okay. I will now use the power tool. Zip those in. Okay, let's tighten these down. You don't have to go nuts. have this impact driver on the lowest setting just enough to get it mounted solidly on there and I think what I'm, I'm gonna do just out of curiosity is I'm gonna build it sealed first because I want to see how it sounds sealed Probably sound like shit, but I want to try it anyway. And uh, I tried to test it out the um, the port. Found out if you use a two and a half inch hole saw, works perfectly. Cut a piece of scrap wood and tried it out. But another thing is I didn't get my uh, subwoofer cable. My subwoofer cable didn't come. I got uh, these connections, and I got some foam, speaker foam. Came today, but my connection to connect it to my uh, my cantos my desk speakers did not come so I can't connect it yet anyway so I'll go ahead and just throw the woofer in for now so it's connected and then when the cable comes I can try it out sealed and then uh, I mean I know you're not gonna be able to tell how it sounds but uh, it's a new knife You're not going to be able to tell how it sounds through this crappy microphone, but uh, I'll relay my impressions of it. And I can't do it today anyway because I don't have the cable. But what I do have are these little buggers. Uh, let me go get the driver. somebody riding a blender down the street. Alright, I had to move it there, so I'm going to start these screws by hand. Probably shouldn't use power tools anywhere around speaker. I made that mistake once and punctured a surround on a speaker. Not the end of the world, but you know, why do it if you can avoid it? Don't you know, sorry about the barking dog and the... This is why we can't have a nice YouTube channel. You don't even know whose dog that is. So there we go. That is a somewhat completed subwoofer. Should be operational enough to listen to it. Okay, so I put it all together, sealed. I didn't use the port. And it puts out bass, you have to turn it way up. And it's not as deep as it probably would be with the port. So I'm gonna take it all back apart and put the port in it like it should be so. Another thing is I was gonna glue these, you have to glue these two port pins together to make the port the total length. I was gonna do that then I thought well how am I gonna get it in the box? <laughs> so you gotta put this one in the box and then you gotta glue this inside the box. I have this, hopefully this works. It's a Loctite gel glue. Hopefully it holds it pretty quickly. I don't want to sit there and try to hold that in there forever. So I'm going to mark here about where it's going to go. So I know where to drill the hole. And I think I mentioned before, if I didn't, or if I cut that part out, 
figured out that a two and a half inch hole saw, two and a half inch hole saw, works perfect for these little fins to fit in there. I'm going to put some sealant around the the outer flange here to seal it in there. But I tested it on a piece of scrap wood, and it it's got a nice tight fit. Fits right in there. So I'm going to mark that, drill the hole, and hopefully we'll have port on the outside that I can then glue the inside port. All right, change of plans. I drilled the two and a half inch hole through the side here. And I was gonna glue the other end of the port in there, but then I started thinking I'm gonna finish this speaker after I test it for a while to make sure that's the way I want. I'm gonna round off the corners, sand it, paint it and everything. So if I glue these ports together, then I have to break it to get it back out. So I came up with a clever little plan and I gorilla taped it together for now. So when I go to take it apart to finish it, I just untape it. So that's a little trick. Feel free to spread that one. Okay, so I decided to put this foam around the box instead of around the speaker. You may regret this because I have to take it off when I go to finish the box to paint it here. I think this way it's going to probably seal a little better than it was. I'm just putting the tape around the speaker that is. I think it was sitting too far in. It was not actually sealing. Sealing tape is pretty much a must-have because it air will leak around your, your driver, and you don't want air leaking around your driver. Just put it back in there. It's still not like sealing. I don't feel it sealing. Well, we'll fix that in the revision. We're done for now. Make sure I didn't screw all this up. So I'm going to go hook it up and roll in a little footage of it playing. So it's uh, it's done for now. Um, this vid this part is uh, probably a week after the sequence that you just watched, and I've been listening to it. Sounds great. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna finish it. I was gonna try to incorporate that into this video, but it'll just be too long, and I haven't quite decided what to do. I do have to like fill in these. It's got these like things from the nails and various imperfections. I need a Bondo and primer it and some other stuff. I'm leaning towards making it matte black, but I don't know yet. I may do something else. I haven't quite decided. You can see the little port. That came out really good. And the amp. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to tin the speaker leads. I'm going to take this off and tin those leads because the speaker wire is kind of frazzled. I'm going to fix that. So I'm just going to leave it here for this video 
and uh, you know if you have any thoughts or comments on what to, how to finish this go ahead and make a comment and if you'd like this video just go ahead and click that uh, thumb thumb thing and the bell does something I think you'll be happy if you build this you'll like the way it sounds so I'm gonna leave it here and uh, go ahead and comment what you think I should do to finish it I like it to be simple nothing I don't want to paint stripes or anything like that but I may either use like bed liner or just matte black or something I don't know something like that it's gonna be hidden for the most part anyway so I will go ahead and end it here and thanks for watching we'll see you next time